a medical mystery is being investigated in Montgomery County. It's a lung infection that has been linked to water. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl says the illness is rare, but the number of patients is growing. The unlikely victims are white, thin, postmenopausal women who live in affluent neighborhoods around the main line. It's frightening, I think. It's a lung infection similar to tuberculosis that's caused by a bacteria found all over in soil, the air, and mainly in water. This is in all of our water. We're all exposed to it every day when we take a shower. This is being researched very extensively right now. Mainline health pulmonologist Leah Landy does not want to cause unnecessary necessary hysteria, emphasizing that the lung infection called non-tuberculous mycobacteria, or NTM, is very rare. She treats about 100 patients a year. Symptoms include a cough and fatigue. All of this white area that's all infection and inflammation. A study from the American Thoracic Society and NIH in 2012 identified seven significant clusters of NTM around the country, one being the greater Philadelphia metropolitan area with significant clusters found in Montgomery County. At the end of the day, you're thinking, have you hurt yourself by drinking Waters. Karen McCarthy, who lives in nearby Westchester, was diagnosed with NTM in May. Now you have to live on antibiotics. Mm-hmm. Until next September or October. She's installed a special water filter, careful to avoid re-exposure. The 54-year-old struggles with fatigue and respiratory issues, but makes sure to stay in shape, which ironically made her more susceptible. Were you shocked when you found out that being healthy and fit put you at risk for this? Oh, absolutely. The NIH report also noted that most NTM patients had higher education and income levels, with the infection being difficult to identify. The diagnosis is tricky. It often is delayed. There's often, I'll, I'll see patients as well others um, that have been undiagnosed for several years. Dr. Landy says the bacteria can be especially dangerous when it's aerosolized in the shower or from a humidifier, even with dirt that blows in the air. I didn't know what NTM was. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Philip Lippman says he learned fast after his wife, Fern, was diagnosed. They lived in another NTM hotspot, Florida. The lung infection eventually killed her. She was such an amazing person, but she's in my heart. She's with our children. But not everyone is at risk. Doctors say African Americans and people who are overweight tend not to get NTM, but this bacteria that causes it is everywhere. So the question is, why do only certain people get the infection?